Okay, off we go. Mahog Sar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna f Hi, Shattering the pieces! Oh, Eternal Who devastation! Just pointing it out. These little Do ones it. are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut so much for sitting this content. fight out. Wow, that was a nice move there. I know, right? Bet you couldn't do it. So it's a grab here, thrust the left leg, then use the right arm to leverage over. Stop memorizing my move! What's this thing? Hi, Hoodle! Hear me! 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 Looks like it could be worth something. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo. Maybe something's going on in the forest. Get lost. Do you require a hand. Got you. Rising Rider. Rising Phoenix. It's over. Now. Totally! In an instant! Impact ball! Here I go! Air thrust! I still got a ways to go! There's something in the water. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. There we go. I'll catch something bigger next time. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. 
but that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just do <sighs> Hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh. She really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys! I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Wow. 
Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensean Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it. I must admit, I'm rather proud of this dish. Go, Halim. Care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> you worried about what's going on with Men and Sia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Men and Sia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master, either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However... I was less interested in ruling, so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Shall we get moving? Rest here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. I hope I live long enough to regret this. Don't get your fight! Come on! You're mine! Swallow it! I'm not so much of a city this fight out. That wouldn't be a complaint, I think. Nope, that'd be silly. Get out of the way! 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 Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Sopra! Well, looky here! <laughs> All right! Nowhere to run from my hug. When he slows down, that's our chance. You quit trying to keep up with the wall. Some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? 
We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What, you mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking, the history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. sense a strange power from this. Visibility along this path will remain limited for some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wished to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. know about all that astrally stuff. Same way I know what you do in the middle of the night. I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Dan and slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renan doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman. And this is my chance to have a new beginning. Break yourselves! This one's tough! Yeah, this one's tough! This one's tough! 
when I see it. It's so hilly around here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts. Oh man, I hope I live long enough to regret this. Continue on in that way. Uh, we got flyers. I've got this. Let him work in the All yours. Leave all the art to me. Milk and play here. You are your human. To stop you dying? Okay. Hey, let's get it. I'm out of ammo. Back into the room. This will come in handy. We can really make weapons with this? This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves, often in great numbers. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. True enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, 
There are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives in their stead. So, what you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. And it is those who can no longer bear that feeling that inevitably take action. Much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> what are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? <sighs> nah, just regretting I ever said anything in the first place. Dan and Ruins here too, I see. What were people even thinking back then? Trying to build anything around here. M maybe they just had that much time and energy on their hands. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here. Quite literally. So Mahog Song's just up ahead then? Indeed. If you look, across... It's gone! Take it! It's over! He's it! Take this! Not in your dreams! I don't know where you are from! Strike! Eagle of Solid Blade! Try this! Now see that you don't get in trouble again. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the front. The enemy wields arts too. You'll soon see about that. Rip it down. Rip it down. Rip it down. Come one, come all. Here's the win. What's this place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm. I don't know about this.
We seem to have come across something else. No holding back! To me. This is a piece of cake! Pretty lucky. Hi, Hoodle. Rising Warper. Do you mind if I do? Rising Warper. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. I've used a bit too much healing. This will make us even more formidable. One day, I think you'll surpass him. <laughs> I wonder when. Go no further! 
on us. There are still no more left. Run. Right. No time to hold back. Run. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more public. Cut them apart with your heart. I owe you one. Infernal turret! I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. Through these lands most verdant green, my eyes alight for sights unseen. In Menencia, pure and pristine. What is it you see, exactly? That's not for me to say. Animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Want something to munch on, Hoodle? There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again... Maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. I feel pretty refreshed after... Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. 
Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term, but you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does, which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. <sighs> what is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... Looking for you. For me, why? He's tough. Who are you? You said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Oh, no, 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 Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? Let us see! Goodbye! Air thrust! Try this! Halo Thunderstorm! So much for sitting this guy down! That wouldn't be a complaint, I hear. No steady! Stop! Wind Astro Energy Shadows! Take this! Try this! Air thrust! Air thrust! I'll tear you up! Take this! Hey, what?
Is that all that you've got? Very well. Then die. Crushing me. No. Sorry. It's okay. And so am I. <clears throat> uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's Shion. We thought I'm you were- I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I- Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I, I didn't. Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine. Really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin. Do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and Astral Arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey.
Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there...